Here at Los Alamos, we've performed the first simulation of an entire gene of DNA. This simulation required a billion atoms to perform, and it's the largest biomolecular simulation to date. It's important to understand DNA at this level of detail because we want to understand precisely how the DNA can wind and unwind around these spools. It's a, a systematic way that the cell uses to turn on and off genes at just the right time. But no one's been able to image this in atomic detail, and that's what we're trying to do here with the Trinity Supercomputer. Using the Trinity Supercomputer, we were able to run uh, this simulation on a million cores. We believe that with exascale computing here at Los Alamos, we'll be able to model a full genome. Here we're looking at the first computer simulation of an entire gene of DNA. The blue ribbons are the DNA double helical formations, and the white squiggles are these molecular spools called uh, histone proteins. And what we want to do in this simulation is to see and understand what this dense environment looks like and why could there ever be a, a collapsing event or an expansion event. This will give us an understanding of the structure of, say, a single gene that regulates a certain function. This means that we will be able to compare a regular functioning gene with, say, a cancerous one. And with simulations like the ones we're doing on Trinity, uh, we have the capability now to see exactly how a collapse event is affecting autism and intellectual disability.